This reminds me of the years and times and times. Said it was long ago, but I'm thinking that time don't even be real. Thinking about what, 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 I am who, I am, 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 cause you, reflect my soul. Yo, what's going on everybody? How are you doing? Welcome. It is Thursday, the 15th day of July. And that means, uh, you know, it's Thursday. I'm on Frog 9. And, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're here. We're live. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Before we get into it, as always, I would like to invite you to do this right here. Text in the exception, all one word, to 52886. 52886. Uh, you will get a petition back super quick to fill out, and they will even uh, tweet and email your uh, representatives automatically once you sign that petition. It's all very straightforward, and it's super, super easy. And what this is going to do, this is working to abolish slavery through the... Uh, exception clause in the 13th Amendment. All right, so let's go ahead and jump on that. What I will do as well, make sure we got some captions. What is up, everybody? How are you doing, Pirate Queen Indigo Cat? I got you up there now. Hey there. I'm okay. I've had better mornings, but I'm okay. I'm wearing my clothes that will soon be at the noir collective in Asheville. it's true it's true we went there yesterday eagle to, market the, street. to the noir collective eagle market street uh we got our inventory list down we got posters um a whole bunch of stuff that you've made and collected over the years art to wear art to wear so oh, to wear. uh we're, we're gonna keep bringing more stuff down there so many thanks to Ajax and Alexandria and the YMI crew down there. You guys are working so yeah. hard. We see you guys. We really appreciate you We see you Next and Anthony, congrats at his and Tanya in the office there. They're rocking and rolling, making Black Asheville and Black Wall Street available to tourists and to locals alike. Definitely, definitely. So other than this morning how's your week been well pretty exciting because things seem to be moving i um oh yeah i was going to share that the lester area 
is the Leicester Community Center in the Leicester area is finally going to have a farmer's market. Cool. I've been trying to be a farmer for a few years. So I'm part of the media crew, but it's local, handmade, and hand grown or natural, local. And so it's just for the immediate area. They call local Marshall, uh, I don't know. We have a list of what we consider local. But if you're in Leicester, you know where who you are. And if you have products, you can uh, soon contact us to see about getting your produce or if you do handmade crafts or whatever. We'll see you there. August 4th is our first go at it. We have yes, 18 that, spaces. That's coming up. It's just going to be in a couple weeks for sure. Yeah, 18 spaces. And they're only $5 a space. It's just amazing price. For us to get something going out here in Leicester, North Clackalacky. Yeah, so if you're in the area, come check us out. August fourth, we're gonna have the uh, gonna have they have the farmers market yeah. here in Leicester. Leicester uh, a little, another little bit of news: we had to cancel the robot party because you know, yeah, all the robots were like, we you don't know. have enough robots. That's the problem. Well, there's a lot of robots, but getting, you know, it's like wrangling cats, you know, yeah. wrangling robots, mm, hard robot cats. But, um, but Hey, instead of robot party, we, we've been partying on clubhouse a little bit. Yeah. And that's been super, super interesting. Um, if you don't know what clubhouse is, it is a, uh, it's a new social media app and it's just voice only. There's no camera or anybody, anything, Great. but you it's can, like when you used to talk on the telephone with your friends for those of who can remember that age. And uh, yeah, you basically, you know, make your profile and then it'll just feed you a list of rooms that people are sitting in live talking. <clears throat> um, so it just got on. It's been an iPhone for, I think, the past year or so, uh, but it just released on Android. So I was able to get into it about a month ago, but I haven't really started using it until about last week. Um, cause you know, these things take time to figure out well, what the hell is this? Right. But, um, uh, it's been finding more people talking about crypto and NFTs just so I can ask them questions and get more informed and, and understand what, what all is going on in that space and building community. I mean, actually physically building black communities, especially in those historic black towns like Tulsa. So it's exciting for me to get in on the ground floor. I feel like it's the same when we started establishing the sister city with Asheville and Oshogbo, Nigeria. It's ground floor. We're going to design it. And there was an even a lady on there from uh, NASA, Rocket Lady. Rocket Lady was blazing about putting, what, how did she describe it? It's just technology into the black community and, and as a... And money from NASA. Money, like an incubator for training and a center to revitalize these towns. So that's pretty exciting. Yeah, we ended up, uh, <clears throat> I ended up finding a group, like you say, they're, they're, they're wanna work with Tulsa, wanna work with Greenwood, mm -hmm. and to use, uh-oh, hold on. To use. Um, Did you have overlapping audio? Yeah, just, the, just for a second there. Um, okay. Just briefly, but basically, they, you know, they have a whole lot of uh, artifacts from these historic black towns, Black Wall Street, and they want to turn those into NFTs to fund, for, uh, to to do fundraising, so they can uh, further their projects. So we were able to get yeah. in there, and you know, you talk to them about your family in Texas, yes, and stuff that they want to do there. They're talking about growing hemp, you know, because yes. hemp industrial is, hemp is uh, you know can be used to build. You know, housing, it can be used for a whole wide range of applications. Yeah, so. feed. It, um, before it was banned, it was just like really a very prominent industry in the South. And uh, perhaps it'll just replace tobacco around here as far as income. And in Texas, especially for my family that owns farming property and my... my uh, Nephew, Charjuan, who's going to college this semester to study agriculture. So 
I hope he uh, gets in on the, you know, the base floor of that uh, hemp industry for black people and our prosperity and to work to cooperatively uh, to get us a bigger share of the market. Pretty exciting. Not to mention to be in the industry when it all goes legal, the recreational and uh, medicinal uh, cannabis. So really, it, I, I've I've enjoyed using Clubhouse because you know I, we don't really get a a chance to sit and be in conversation with people. Yeah. Um, to talk about you know, there's just so many different subjects that people talk. You know, instant you know systemic racism is that real? You know, it's kind of like watching a train wreck that way. <laughs> um, there's a lot of ignorance in that room, but it, it, <laughs> yeah, I could. It's almost like I really I couldn't leave that because there was a like what I'm saying is there was a room where people were like, is it is systemic racism real? Change my mind. You know, they just, they had all these theories and, and perspectives on the statistics and all that stuff. It was really bizarre, but I would sit there and then I'd listen and there'd be people who would come up that I would agree with, or, you know, who, who, who would have their perspective. So it was like, I could follow those people and see what else they're doing. Um, but it's like, I really just like clubhouse being able to have conversations with people yeah. and listen to what people are talking about. And I've noticed a lot more of a response to, uh, you know, when I when I jump on there and, and talk a little bit, it's cool. People people respond. You get some follows or whatever. So that's just another tool that we're going to be using to promote what we're doing and to share with the world what we're doing. So, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. so you know, if you want to check out Clubhouse, let me know, and I will go ahead and uh, Give send you an, an invite. invite. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, other than that, that was one thing we're doing. We went to the Noir Collective yesterday, and that was good. Got those things dropped down. Went to the Farmer's Market Organizing Committee meeting last night. So, yeah, it was a big day yesterday. Yo, what's up, Kalut? Uh, you know, I, I am going to be playing Elite later, but, you know, this is like a, a stream where we do a bit of a podcast portion. I was actually about to pull up some Halo, play a couple rounds of those, so... Hey, man, do apologize that uh, your expectations have been fucked. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you can hang around, get to Sorry. know some people. Maybe uh, advance your maturity a little bit. And your We're figuring this ability. all out as we go. So, so, please. And actually, I was playing Elite last week, so... You know, it's, uh, it's kind of a holdover from the previous stream in the last week. In fact, I'll change it to Halo right now. I'm going to pull Halo up as well and play some of that. Did you have any thoughts or anything you wanted to well, share? Well, I just wanted to say if you have a suggestion of what you'd like for One Frog 9 to play, just submit it earlier than when we're on the air. And, yeah. and we can probably do that. I mean, hey, I understand. You know, you're probably looking for Elite. You're ready to see some stars. I get it, man. I get it, you know. And you end up with us. Like, what? Well, hey, man, I just woke up. You know, we've just been up here and getting our, getting our shit ready. So it is what it is, man. It's gonna be Halo. It is what it is. We're going to put some Halo on here real quick. Halo MCC. There's only 600 people playing it. <laughs> Update. So thanks for coming through. Kelut. Yep. See you next time. See you next time. I always love it when people come in and talk to us. <laughs> it's so nice. Yeah. Building community. Yeah, it is. Making making new friends. Yeah. You know that that want to that want to just support you and love you and see you grow. I think that's important, man. So Kelut, you're you're the hero of the day. I just got to say that. I appreciate you, man. We applaud you. We truly, truly do. Helping us be better every moment. Alapak, what's up, man? I will get to Elite here in a bit, uh, but we're just going to chill here, and I'm going to play a couple rounds of Halo. Halo! Pirate Queen's sitting in the Discord right now just because uh, that's that's just how it is right that's now. That's what she's doing. So that's that's what it is. She'll be hey, Alapak. talking through my mic on Discord here in a bit. But, uh, but yeah, how's your week been, Alapak? Cool. What were, what were you gonna say? Mm -hmm. Oh, you were to say that folks can suggest whatever they want. I say, I, I say it. I say what I said. Excellent. Mucho excelente. Mucho.
But uh, but I mean, if you got anything to share, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the Halo scene. It's, it's still got us up there. Okay. Um, but I was just gonna throw some gameplay down while you were gonna share some was some I? gold. You got any gold over there? Mm. I think so. Mm. I think so. Okay. I was just reading one of my favorite poets, uh, writers, female. Uh, but she's writing about the 30s. But I realized that um, I either I was attracted to her because it sounded like the life I wanted, and now rereading her years later, it sounds like she's describing me. So I thought that was really an interesting thing. So I just wanted to read a few of her quotes that I um, identified with. It's an, the Diary of Aeneas Nin, and this is 1931 to 1934. And she became just really renowned for just being so honest as a woman talking about things like her erotic life. Um, and so she was always a role model for me because at the time, when I was in graduate school, I just didn't see women doing that. I mean, they don't do it that much now. You know, they go to extremes like uh, Megan the Stallion and stuff, the hyper-sexualized um, image of women, but there's nobody like kind of in the middle like most people function in every day. So anyway, I'm gonna read this. At times, and she said, this is like, she's gossiping about another woman. <laughs> At times she has holes in her stockings, wears unwashed jeans, uses safety pins to hold everything together. And that's part of the motif that I use in all of my art to wear is the safety pins. Because in, um, when I was in school, if anybody's been a tailor or a seamstress, you know you're not supposed to use safety pins in a place that they'll show. They're just used for an emergency thing. So the movement to just use them, show them, show, it's kind of like showing your work. Um, that's what the use of safety pins that you can see means to me in my art. At other times, she rushes to buy gloves and perfume. But all the time, her eyes are carefully made up like the eyes on Egyptian frescoes. She demands illusion as other women demand jewels. Now that's definitely a statement of the times. Like, that's what women were demanding. This is women of her class were demanding uh, certain gifts from their husbands. I mean, I know they still do that stuff, but anyway. And I put old structure of feminine beauty and power still defined by male approval. Question mark. In the next quote, June and I have paid with our souls for taking fantasies seriously, for living life as a theater, for loving costumes and changes of selves, for wearing masks and disguises. But I know always what is real. Does June? So I was like, wow, that sounds like me, exactly. <laughs> our perfidious alliance. I want firsthand knowledge of everything, not fiction, but intimate experience only. And without sounding like a spiritual path, that really does sound like a, a path of self uh, exploration. So that's what I've been working on. I'm gonna read through that novel again. Not really a novel, but it's a diary. I'm gonna read through that again and see how how it's weathered with me, how I've changed, or maybe I've become more like the people she's writing about. I don't know, I was kind of, I was surprised. <laughs> in it? In it. To win it. In it to win it? In it to win it. Okey smokey dokey. And what else do we have going on? Da, 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 da. I have notes upon notes upon notes. 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 Yeah, I did that one. Notes upon notes. 
What? <laughs> what happened? I'm not being very good at this right now. Why is that? Well, uh, you know, I was driving the Warthog, and then I was on top of the base, and then I was stuck, and I wasn't really going anywhere with any kind of effective step. Gary V. I have questions for Gary V. Let's see how they've aged. I don't really know if these are questions. <laughs> well, what do you got? There's just kind of a list. I'm like, one, pulling together past successes into a then I, into a game, I guess. Oh, okay. Never the right time to be naked game. What? <laughs> <laughs> How's that? What's I have... Uh, I don't know. You trying to get Gary V naked? I... Mm, <laughs> probably not. Uh, get my scripts organized for that. Anyway, to work in Oshogo, Nigeria, Sister Cities, learn Blender to make a something. It sounds like a to-do list. It does. Not a, not a question. Not a question. Though. None of these are questions. Da, 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 da. These are not questions. Maybe that's why I never ask them, because they're not really questions. What else do we have in here? Is that all? Yeah, I've been going through all my file things. What's this? Why is this here? Jet Set Radio Future. Why stream? Top five dreams, wishes, desires. How do you feel about money? What would you do if there were no financial limitations? Where would you live? Blah blah blah. Blah blah blue. Oh, how, how'd you feel about that gunpowder milkshake? Uh... Which is on Netflix if you got Netflix. I think it's just brand new. It's already kind of trending a little bit this morning. I is saw it? it on YouTube. Well, or it was something. just. I was so when I saw that Angela Bassett was in it, I was like, okay, we're watching this. <laughs> and uh, uh, Michelle Yeoh. You know, from crouching dragon, tiger, crouching tiger, running up the walls and jumping off buildings, that movie. <laughs> she was in it. I was like, oh, cool. And then Cersei was in it. And she was a, just a badass. To see <laughs> Cersei get dirty and shoot guns and fly through the air. <laughs> it, 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 I don't know, like the cinematography, like, it was really good from start to finish. Like, yeah, there, there it was, was great. To see some strong female characters. I mean, not necessarily that female characters need to be shooting and kicking ass, but it was kind of nice to see it. <laughs> that they weren't whining and sniveling and asking for, you know, the paradigm I grew up on is, oh, they trip while they're running and, oh, and somebody has to come help her. Oh, oh, help me, my prince. Which is such bullshit. I mean, why would you want, not want to be independent yourself? So, I fell in love with it. It was just so cool and it was really violent and bloody, but to see these women fighting and winning and for them, the win wasn't always just to kill, but to, to make a point that they were gonna defend their territory and they were not gonna have anybody come in and encroach upon their, their library. They had this great library where the books all had, well, I don't wanna give it away. <laughs> There were there were books in their library. I just love the way it was shot. Just a lot of color. Yeah. A lot of really vibrant colors all over the place and kind of a noir. Yeah, definitely like yeah. A noir old Hollywood. Right off the yeah. bat, like it's just like she the, she turns around. Yeah. Just in the first couple shots, like she turns around and like there's just one beam of light across her eyes. Yeah. Just, She's that archetypal yeah. woman in a black trench coat, and she had this dynamite black hat on. I was like, costume designer and stylist, you rocked in that one. Cause she just always looked like a, an archetype like we hadn't seen, or a tote, a trope, a tope. <laughs> a tope? She looked like a tope. Isn't that a color, tope? Yeah, T-A-U-P-E. Is it like tope. green? No. It's like blue? It's like beigey. It's like throw up? It, it's like ivory and beige. Ivory? And beige on the beach is tope. Hey, I got that guy. Huh? I, I shot a rocket at a guy, but I didn't kill him, so he flew in the air towards me, and then I hit him with the rocket. Just as he... And you killed him. But the game is already over, so. Boop, 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 All right, I'm going to do boop. one or two more, and then uh, and then we're going to switch it over. To, to Elite, huh? To Elite. 
Elite. Elite. But really, I mean, it's just, I think it's been a good week. You know, like I said, getting our stuff together for the store, um, making some new connections with people. Yeah. It's kind of coming out of this COVID isolation, <laughs> this kind of virtual relationship we have with people. It's like, oh my God. I And I sat in a room with seven women who are, who are the organizing c committee of the farmer's market. And they were really a kick. They were strong women too. They were joking and laughing and taking charge, making the thing happen. As usual, a lot of things start with women doing the unseen organizing work. And then what you see is this big production and, and you don't know the, the work that women have done, keeping lists, calling people, texting people. Uh, so I was really excited and proud to be out here in Leicester, North Clackalacky. Yeah. And my major interest is because I'd like, I've been wanting to sell things. You know, I had chickens for a while, wanted to sell eggs. I had honeybees for a while, wanted to sell honey. I had goats for a while, I have a goat. But what I really need is more infrastructure to be able to do those things. So I feel like I'm connecting with people that have the skills to say, yeah, you need an electric fence, you need this, or you need a great Pyrenees dog to keep the predators away. So it, it's good. It's good, and, and I'm happy that it's women. Just makes it easier for uh, me to understand how they communicate. <laughs> I'm in a robot. Robot. I'm in a robot. Here's the robot party right here. <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of robot party I think we need. <laughs> Gotta upgrade our robot skills. Oh, I got blown up. From cardboard to metal. I got blown up. Blowed up. Oh well. And while there's a little light, here's one of my little dolls that I made. Well, actually, it was a souvenir doll, and I turned her into just kind of a... Well, like people say she looks kind of like a hoodoo voodoo. Who says that? That's what they say when they see what? something kind of scary, but... She's what? Bahamas Goombe Mama. <laughs> <laughs> So I just added some stuff to her, made her have a nice little flowered hat. and She'll be at the Noir Collective, and she wants to go home with one of you out there. Pretty cute. Uh-oh, something broke. You broke it? Pin broke. What? What? Oh, dear. Now what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Wackadoo is what. I think I tried to hit me with a hammer. No. Oh. It's not nice. Ah, uh, he missed twice. He's after me, though. I might make some more of these now that I have a place to sell them. Look at that. So, this was a sample. So, is there any more indigo? Well, that's the thing. I've got, <laughs> I've got to dig up. I, the indigo, see how much I have left. And so it's indigo from Oshogo, Nigeria, our sister city, and just a nice textured fabric in the back. And she's got lavender potpourri in her little head. Scented pillows. So maybe I might take it and see if they might want some more of those made. I'm pretty sure they will. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they will. I don't think we're, I think we're beyond like wondering what they want. I think they, like, you know, whatever you have, yeah. whatever it's, we have. <laughs> it's like, I love the store and I think I, what my stuff will bring is just some little uh, alternative looks to what's there. You yeah, know? good. So I'm, I'm really excited that they want me to be a part of the Noir Collective. Just want to see real quick if, um... See if they got me in their, um, vendor. Oh, the, yeah, the group? Yeah. 
No more collective hitters. No! Almost hit a teammate. There we go. Ah! Uh, oh, so I'm pending. I'm pending! Nice! I didn't even know I got that kill. I've done been deaded. And I I couldn't find my uh <laughs> I don't know where my phone oh yeah I do know where our phone is. But Wait, what did you need? Nothing. Nothing? You don't need anything? Hi. Well, fine. What do you want? I just like to have all my stuff with me, and so I came in and I didn't have my phone, and I'm like, where is my phone? And I know where my phone is, it's just not here. Is your phone on the bone? Uh-oh. Love it, I'll come shop there. Did you hear about the Lester Library Garden? Let me see if I can find a link. Lester Library Giving Garden. Great. Go, 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 go. Hey, we still won. All right. So there are people that are really excited that there's going to be the farmer's market in Leicester. Uh, oh, did they share that on the Leicester page? No, just somebody reacted to my sharing it on my Facebook in general. Like, cool. Yeah, that should go on the Leicester former or whatever. Well, the one of our um, organizing people runs that page. So. Oh, cool. So. So they're on it. They're on so it. So they are on it. Do, do, ah. do, do. Yeah, I think people are pretty, pretty excited about that. Uh, let's see, I'm going to turn off four. And let's see if I can get a... I want to fly a Banshee. I want to fly a Banshee. Oh, really? And then I'm going to fly a spaceship. We're gonna fly a spaceship. Do, 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 do. Remy Aziz is already my friend. Why would he be sending me a friend request? He must have gotten a hat. Who? Remy Aziz, a friend in Oshogbo, sending me a friend re request. And we're already friends, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Probably. That happened with Ebony. Ebony. Oh, it did? Yeah, with me a couple months ago. <laughs> Looks like your show is on the Book of Face. I think so. It says live now. I think so. So yeah, folks, uh, you know, this is this is it. This is what we do. This is what we do, what I can do. Every Thursday we're here. You, before, we were kind of like splitting up the show. Okay, the first half is going to be us talking. And then I'll game, but but I was on Clubhouse and I was talking to. It was really cool. I found a room and they were talking about YouTube, and I rarely get to talk to anybody about YouTube and how to use it or what best practices should be. And um, but there was a guy he wants to do games reviews and and tech reviews and stuff. And he only started a couple months ago and he's already got a couple thousand views per per month. So. He is like, he, he's, man, he is, has no problem whatsoever. He's just got to keep at it. Excuse me. But um, he was what suggested just to, to try and mix it up. So, because I've yeah. always just felt like, ah, oh, maybe things need to have their own space. But hey, it's time to just try what we can, you know, just mix it up, try something different. Mm-hmm. Winging it. Meaning fly. 
flying high, money in the sky, money in my hands, money in my hands and used to stay, money in my hands and used to stay. There it is. So I'm just going to go on Facebook so I can just share it. Okay. Hawking though, he, oh, share the tweet too. Tweet, retweet the tweet. Okay. While we're live, because I, I usually, well, actually, I don't know. Depends. Sometimes I delete them. Sometimes I don't. Should I do it on Tweet Deck or just go to Twitter? Uh, they're, they're, they do the same. So whichever is easiest for you. Smoky Smadoki. Poor Flavor. Smoky Doki. Do 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 do. Blogger. I don't think anybody no. follows me on that, but oh, I share it up. anyway. I share it anyway. Um. No one ever goes for this page. Huh? No one ever goes for this banshee here on the side of the map, so I'm just gonna take it. <laughs> I'm gonna make it. Take it and make it. And I bake love it. A Let's kind of scope the scene out here for a little do, bit. Do, 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 do. Sign in. Hey, that was good. That worked out pretty good. All right. Splat! Splat! Ah, oh, I didn't splatter. Mm. Hey, I still got him. No, oh, somebody got him. Oh, they're all hiding there. I can't get anybody. Do do Pinterest gamertainment. And that show on there. Pinterest. Pinterest. As I share it. Pinterest. I need to be careful I don't get lasered or rocketed. Oh, I got that splat, though. Totally worth it. <laughs> I love getting a Banshee splatter, you know? It's just, it just makes your day. Do it. Oh, 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 oh. Well, the cat just left. I don't know if that means anything. It totally means something. It means that we, uh... <laughs> <laughs> She's going to watch the stream on her little cat Chromebook. Yeah. That's what that means. That cat attacked me yesterday. The cat attacked you? She did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember that. I think she was just giving you a love tap. Uh, or maybe she was, like, stretching and her claw got stuck in the... <laughs> stuck in your butt. I... I think that's what happened. I think she was stretching. I, I think she was trying to... Does this guy have a hammer? Oh, I didn't hit him. He does have a hammer. That's what uh, Angela Bassett had a hammer. She yeah, she did have a hammer. I don't think she had a brute hammer though. <laughs> oh my bad, she went down. Man, man, I was alive for a good hot minute though. Mm hmm. Oh, we got all the tanks. It's not looking good for these folks here. No, I'm gonna die. Show us your NFTs. Will RT to the metaverse? Community NFT collector. Yamanoti. Yes. Yamanoti, what does he got? Update install version 1.0. Oh, he's probably still playing Densha de Go. Yeah, Densha de Go. That's a train game. Ooh. He loves trains. Yamanote, if you're out there, I miss you! Yeah, what I haven't watched his streams in a minute, though. And Alipok is talking oh. about something. Captions are dead. Okay, captions are back. Ooh, there's a banshee. I'm gonna get this banshee. Come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. I win! Oh, that guy didn't make it to the Banshee. Hey, I got a splat, though. Got that splat! <laughs> you said one word suggestion for the show, and I put three words. You do not follow directions. Oh, it's fine to close that goss. Do what? Do what? Do what? Whack a do what? Do what? <clears throat> what are you talking about? That improv thing? Do what? 
No, you missed it. You're playing games. I am. Well, I'm just talking. I am. I'm playing games. <laughs> and the world's never going to be the same. Worst cooks in America now casting. Do you know anyone who should apply? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I do, actually. Yeah, I don't have time, but it sounds yeah, you fun. you don't have time. <laughs> it sounds like fun. Yeah. I mean, I've got to build a, a metaverse. You know, I don't have time to be cooking. Hey, another splat. NFT track and collector. Chunky cow. Hey, another splat. That looks like some of oh my, my goofy God. designs. Chunky cow. Yeah, I just need to make all my backgrounds plain so we can see the figure. Dude, here comes the cat again. Oh, cat's she, here. She had to stop and lick her leg. I don't think that's her leg. <laughs> For 30 days, here's Brian Scott. He's saying, join me and take the 30-day mental diet. For 30 days, one month, you are not to accept a single, a single negative thought nor dwell on a single negative premise. Yikes. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. We try to do that anyway. Cat. The Hop Ice Cream Shop and Creamery in Asheville has a refined new look, logo, and online store. It all came together during COVID. Details in the latest hot sheet. Oh, goody. Goody, goody. Goody, goody. <laughs> oh, I kind of like that. What did they do? He goes by Arts Oh, and he took my page. Ooh, I like that. Let's take sketches and then... Hmm. Oh, I got ghost. I got ghost. You got ghost. Ghost. Called a. It's called a ghost cannon. Chicago. And it's basically just pure pain. Pain. Ooh, South Africa is just fucking whatever. <laughs> It's evolving. More than a thousand arrests and demonstrations across South Africa following the jailing of former President Zuma. How about that shit with Texas and the Democrats? The Demorats. Yay, Demorats! And them rat publicans. Well. NFT millionaire. Follow NFT millionaire? I don't think so. I'm the I'm NFT billionaire. Oh really? Yeah. Lady Rocket Eva Blasdell. Yeah. She was talking about some space age changes with money for the building black community. Yeah, it was cool. She was in there. This was uh, one of the people that we met in the clubhouse. Yeah. One of the clubhouse rooms, and she was she works for NASA. She was just yeah. like, oh, I'm just going to go and, you know, talk to NASA. <laughs> See if we can get some funding for this, for this uh, you know, Black Wall Street NFT project. Oh, I almost hit that guy. All right, I shared that a bit. And now I'll get off of the tube of you. Ah, uh -huh, I stole that shit back. Ah, uh, I died. <laughs> oh. Is it just because I went on a, another page that my live studio restream went bye-bye? We'll see. The live studio won't show the preview of the stream. There's... Grab that tab and drag it over to the right side of the screen. Well, let me just let it just play your game. Just play my game. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
So that screen is just for the chat. Well, where was, I had the, all I did was open up another tab and then when I went back, <clears throat> you had, so what are you telling me to do? Grab the tab, click and drag the tab to the right side of the screen. Oh, uh oh. Until the mouse touches the right side of the screen, all the way. All the yes. Hey, there you go. Oh, okay. So now scroll down on that one you just fixed. Here's my chat. And then you click the chat tab. Got it. Boom. Teamwork. She's a runner. She's a track star. We're the master of this technological age. We are the winners of the game of life. And turkeys. Uh, what about turtles? And cats. Turkey, turkey, goats? turtle, turkey, what about turkey, turtle, turkey, turkey, goat turtle, goats? goat, duck. My dream, my ideal dream of a farm, I would have some khaki Campbell ducks, a nice herd of Nigerian dwarf goats and alpaca goats for hair. So I could have these one industry for milk, one industry for fibers to sell to artists and what else? Food, we'd grow the food for us to eat and have chickens for eggs, Rhode Island Reds, those consistently one egg a day chickens that I love so much. Every day, rain or shine, they poop one out for you for your breakfast. It's good stuff, them chickens. And um, I don't know, working with honeybees, that was hard work. <laughs> it was just lifting those, uh, I can't even remember what you call them anymore. What do you call the, them? Uh, the honeycomb? Flats, flats, the flats. The flats. Some of those things weigh like 30 pounds, <laughs> you know. And then you need a big extractor for the honey, but we did it for a few seasons. And oh my God, it was so good. But we could have our own honey and mead. Hey. And charge lots of money, have people come over and eat with this honey. It would be so sunny, sunny, sunny. Hold eat with this honey. I just wanna remind you guys real quick. Uh, go ahead and whip out your phone. Text in the exception to 52886. It's all one word. In the exception, 52886. Do that. You'll get a petition. And this is about the abolition amendment. This is going to be uh, Amendment 28. Yeah. That will be removing the exception to slavery and indentured servitude as punishment for a crime, which you can find in the 13th Amendment. Uh, you know, be an abolitionist. Jump in there. Get on it. Educate yourself. Look into George Jackson's life. <laughs> the revolutionary freedom fighter of San Quentin, of California. I uh, just want to do that plug real quick. And also... Our Redbubble store. Our yeah, Red store. we have stickers. Or yeah. Or You can support us on Redbubble. What's the name of our store? It Red. is uh, the Redbubble store. It's the Redbubble store. No, you're right. We need, make, <laughs> we need a better name. Yeah. <laughs> Because we're just promoting Redbubble instead of our store. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, but onward and upward. All right, so let's go ahead and pull up Elite. Elite pull time. Up, uh, change it to Elite here. It's Elite, elite time. It's Elite time. It's elite. elite. It's almost time for that clubhouse meeting. Oh. See, if I have my phone... Yeah, we'll go get it. I'm gonna pop out for a moment. Go get it. Ta ta. Go get your phone. Where's my go phone? Go get your phone. Oh, go looking get for your my phone. phone. Alapak, if you're there, we're gonna pop into the Discord and uh, pock Alapak into the pop into the Discord. Pock and pock, pock. Let's see what we got. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. So yeah, folks, you know, this stream this is only one part of this whole framework, this project that we call life, you know, uh, 
You can find me on Twitter, on YouTube. You can find her on Twitter, on YouTube as well, Valeria Watson. Uh, we don't quite have her socials kind of on a command here yet, but it's coming down the pipe. Let's see, I'm going to pull, is Elite coming up here? There it is, there's that. Let's go ahead and switch on over. Switch on over, switch on over. All right. Don't save that. Close Blender. Open this up here. What's going on here? Alapak, I'm not near Chadik. I've been trying to get my soul permit for my soul. What's up, dude? Yo, what's going on, man? Can you hear me? Yeah, I got you. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Yo, did you see all those Banshee splatters? Uh, I saw a couple, but nice. working on some stuff here. Yeah, I've been trying to get set up here. I'm in the store. <laughs> oh, at the Redbubble store? No, I'm not fitting my ship here. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, if you get, a, you get a chance, go ahead and check out. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, you can go ahead and put those oh, headphones oh. in now. You should be able to hear Alapoc. Okay. Go ahead and give a mic check there, Alapoc. Yeah, yeah, check. I hear. Cool. Right on. Hey, Valeria, go ahead and give a mic check. Test one, two, yeah, three. Yeah, I got you. Okay, cool. Hey, Alapoc. Hey. Cool, 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 cool. Let's fire this up. Yeah, I'm a couple jumps away. I've been trying to get my soul permit up in Ochosi. Oh, I'm at um, Geigen at the moment. I'm just, yeah. So it's all good. Couple yeah, there's a, away. there's a system in the uh, in Elite. There's a star system called Ochosi. Bean. All right. Huh. Which this is, is uh, Risha call Ochosi. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, the well, wind. Ochosi's a, a, a Yorba. Oh, no, no. He's the bow. The, yeah. He sends you to your goal. Ah, yeah. But that's Yorba? Yes. Uh, so Yorba is uh, a, a people of Nigeria. And so out of their... Uh, traditional spiritual system, they have a deity called Ochosi. And Ochosi is an archer that shoots you to your goal. So I thought that was All pretty right cool. On. Yeah. Uh, okay. Got a weekly bonus. Oh, no, I didn't mean to launch. Oh, well. But yeah, Alapak, basically the... Uh, in order to get into the soul system, you know, our our solar system, the uh, you have to rank up with the Federation, one of okay. many different factions and uh, superpowers. This is actually so there's factions, superpowers, galactic powers, so many freaking pieces to this game. But you have to rank up like five or six ranks in the Federation here. Um, uh, wow, that's quite a bit. Yeah. And basically, I let, there's a, a really easy way to, not easy, but a fast way, a f fast is relative in this game when it comes to grinding. But um, it, it, if you go to that Ochosi system, there's just a lot of uh, missions that specifically is, I think the reason they chose that one, whoever I was reading about, um, I think it's just a really short distance because it's just data delivery, you know? For federation aligned groups. All right. Okay, so, here. so, what's important to you do missions for when you pick them? Yeah, if you look at your four menu and go to status, 
All right, I'll take a look in a sec here. Yeah. Uh, what should I throw on for some weapons here? I got an FSD drive and uh, a power plant as well. What about shields? Uh, probably a good idea after getting killed last time we played. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. to uh, oh okay um let's see so you we're friends so i see you in gigan you're right next to chadik i see that I'm just gonna plot a course for Chadik, I suppose. Uh, whoops. We're learning how to use that. Okay, let's see. Chadik, come on, Chadik. Should I run, um, I'm kind of want to run a rail gun or a cannon or something here. Yeah, uh, I have a rail gun on this Cobra here. They, they take a minute to charge up. I think they use a lot of power. Yeah. So, you, you know, but if you got a good power point, you should be all right. Oh my God. What? How long do they take to charge? Not a lot. It's just like, they're, they're not going to fire as soon as you pull the trigger, basically, you know? Oh, um, I see what you mean. Man, why does this not work? Don't do that. Axis. Forward, backward, yaw, left, right. Oh, I'm not zoomed in enough. Is that what it was? Okay. Boom. Okay, there's Chadik. What? Nothing. And now I got that, just gonna align, and I'm about 10 jumps out. Cool, cool, cool. I think I'm gonna dash out. You going? You gonna go to the thing? Hmm? You gonna go to the meeting or whatever? Let me see if I can find it. Cool. I'll be back. All right. So I'm, uh, I'm curious, man, what do, what do you think of all this crypto and NFTs and all that? You heard about NFTs? Oh, yeah, no, I'm uh, definitely kind of kind of into it for sure. Um, I got a wax, uh, wax account and everything. I like to run 
run some alien worlds once in a while, Splinter Lab. Uh, you know, blockchain games. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I do have a little bit into it for sure. Not I... not too much, but. Cool. Yeah, we we don't have any anything really. We're just when um I think back in like 2013, that's when we first heard about Bitcoin and. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> that it was like six hundred dollars a piece, you know, for one. But like, <laughs> yeah, I just I didn't regret. know. You, well, and I just didn't know anybody, you know, that that actually yeah. that I could trust was, to like. I guess it's not out. easy to get get at that time either. So. Yeah, but there was actually a town, uh, about an hour away, and we I remember calling the guy because he he accepted Bitcoin. I don't know if he still does, but I haven't really oh, followed wow. up with him. Um. But yeah, and so yeah, it was just it was just something we, we were researching a lot. And so I was really curious about the benefits they're talking about, you know, the the decentralization and and all that. But um, but yeah, we just hadn't done anything with it. And then when NFTs started getting popular this year, if you know, I was really, I mean, you know, I, I'm, I'm again just like the Bitcoin or any crypto. I'm still just trying to learn. But it's like. At first, you're just hearing about all the environmental impacts of NFTs and all that, and the blockchain. And so I, I'm curious about the, you know, the criticisms and and the benefits. But um, the more and more, like I messing with this clubhouse stuff and just talking to people on there, um, it's 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 really interesting, just what people are doing with it. And I don't know if you saw what we were talking about earlier today. Um, just meeting uh, a group on Clubhouse. Um, Do what? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's no different than anything else. Uh, I mean, I think generally we're just going to use more and more power anyway, so not sure if it's good or bad either way, realistically. Um, well, I obviously, think... Obviously, we need to get to, to a point where we're sustainable with that kind of thing, but I don't think that's going to affect too much either one way or the other. Well, I, and I don't have a lot of uh, information about, this is just my gut feeling. It's like, I, I do feel like as an alternative, it's going to make, it's going to allow us to use less energy because. Oh, there definitely is that element to it. Um, was it wax? It's a, uh... I never even I heard of wax. Remember. I can't remember which. the wax yet. you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wax. Uh, wax is actually a pretty, pretty nice little setup. They, there's, they have a nice little atomic wallet and hub. Uh, for, for a marketplace where you buy all your NFTs and, um, done a little bit of buying and selling on it for sure. Uh, usually with the Splinterlands cards that I, that I collect and, and I play that game as well. Okay. Splinterlands. Yeah, I think, well, and someone had pointed out to me, like, you know, just the amount of energy that we spend shipping money around the world, like physical money. Um, yeah, right. And just the amount of energy a lot of our institutions just use that might, I think, be saved by blockchain technology. Obviously, that's not, you know, I've learned about the differences in proof of stake and proof of authority and all that stuff or whatever it was, but uh, proof of work. But, right, right. What'd you call, what, what did you call it uh, just now, that game? Splint no. Splinterlands. Splinterlands. Yeah, uh, it's. I'm not sure if it's. Uh, I think they call it blockchain agnostic. It runs on Hive slash Steam, but it's also connected with uh, Ethereum and and Wax and some other some other wallets as well. I think you can use MetaMask on there. Okay, I do have a MetaMask account, but I don't have anything in it yet. And... Um, and, and the, as, so it's like at first I was just seeing articles about NFTs and the environmental impacts and everyone was just railing against it and I was kind of jumping on that bandwagon but as I continue to learn about it it just feels like this is an, an inevitable and I do think valuable tech, piece of technology that, through blockchain right, and right. through that's, NFTs that's pretty much where I'm at with it too and, it's not going to go energy, anywhere the energy thing it's it's it is what it is, right? They're, they're working on I, it. It's a, a work in progress. Obviously, the less energy they use, the less it costs to to run their their business, essentially, right? So why wouldn't they try to get to uh, 
yeah. some sort of sustainability there. Well, and I would, I would, you know, guess or posit that you know it's probably the people who don't want crypto just to succeed or NFTs and all these things to succeed because of the threat it may pose to their institutions. Really trying to push these narratives, but I, I mean, I have no proof of that. But I don't know. Just... I mean, you see things like. Uh, I guess uh, Chase Morgan is into it for sure. Like, like, it's not. Um, I'm not sure who's talking shit essentially, right? Uh, because the big. But in that, big I guess it's kind of ironic, already... right? Right. It's kind of ironic when these big industries try to like rope us back into their systems, right? Using this technology, isn't it supposed to be like decentralized and like? <laughs> yeah. You know, well, we're supposed they, to be able to not. had a coin supposedly coming out called Libra. I'm not sure. Uh, whatever yeah. whatever happened with it but uh i was definitely out on that one but um i don't even know what crypto would get at this point I'm, i think i'm just more interested in the nfts and what what i could do with that i did uh get an open sea account Actually, i put yeah what? you definitely definitely got to get hooked up on the the Wax Cloud Wallet and, and Atomic Hub because you can make all your own NFTs there and sell them on the marketplace. Wax Cloud and Atomic Wallet? Wax Cloud Wallet and Atomic Hub Exchange. Atomic Hub. Yeah. Atomic. So the exchange is where you get your NFTs and the, the Wax Wallet uh, connects with the, the Atomic Hub and, and several other applications as well. Okay. Um, there's um, actually pretty pretty large selection and, and growing uh, amount of companies that are actually putting NFTs on the Atomic Hub there. Uh, I first why, got why into Atomic it. Hub? There is um, I, that's just the just one of the main main NFT markets, I suppose. And then, okay. Um, Yeah, I was gonna say I, I first got into the NFT thing. They were giving away some Capcom NFTs, so I ended up with uh, some Street Fighter stuff. Like I have a Ryu and a Chun Li and stuff. Yo, what's going on, Festive Carl? Thanks for the follow, man. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing all right. I know. Uh, I think I saw you in the Actual Gamers Discord. So that's super cool. And I know you were talking about trying to do a gaming, a land center here in Asheville. And I wish you the best of luck with that project. If, uh, I don't know if you're doing anything on Friday. Sorry, I'll probably give you one say. I don't know if you're doing anything tomorrow. I was thinking about going to the, that level 256. They're doing a Halo tournament there. I wanted to enter, but man, I suck at Halo. I thought I'd be good. I even signed up. And then after I signed up and played for a bit, I'm like, man, I, I'm not ready. For 1v1s. Freaking. Oh my god, the 1v1s on Halo, man, are just so evil. They, they spawn kill, man, so much. I wanna just, like, find them and break their legs. I was decent at Halo at one point, but that was in another oh. decade or, or two ago, maybe. <laughs> well, I, it's like, I, <laughs> I only played it on the original Xbox, Halo 1 right, and 2. Right. And never wanted to get a 360 just to play Halo 3, and you know, it just didn't make any sense. Because there's nothing else on the 360 I wanted, and... Oh, I see your winged bite. Uh... Let's work. Does it do it? Yes! Awesome. Um... Nice. Working today. But, uh... You know, but there's... Most of these people play, and all they do is unplug the... When the Halo on PC came out, all they do is unplug their controller from the console, and then just plug it into the... Um into the damn PlayStation. Oh, crap. See, I always figured it'd be easier to use a mouse and keyboard on a, on a game like that, but... Well, the problem is, is the controller comes with, like, some, uh... If you have the controller, it, it uses some fucking, like, auto-aim shit. Like, a slight bit of, like, aim assist. And that really gets me really annoyed. Okay. Yo, Festive Carl, yes, the, the captions are uh, through a website that I actually window capture and then scale down, crop down. So he's muted, but he can see my captions. That's cool. 
But anyway, festive car. I was just gonna say, let's meet if you want, man. Let's meet tomorrow at uh, at level two fifty six if you feel comfortable coming out. I don't really feel comfortable coming out, but I ain't been out in a minute, and I'd like to go see this new space um, and see what they got going on there. Um, and maybe we can meet and, and you know spit some ideas, share some ideas. If you're interested, hit me up on uh, on on the Discord or whatever if that's something you're interested in. Are you back? I'm back. Are you back? I couldn't find them. I don't think they're on today. Yeah, we'll see. They might still be on if when we get off or whatever if they yeah. if they even get on. But yeah, I mean you know, so maybe in another couple of years I'll be good. I'll be good at Halo again. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, some of these kids, it's like, they, they just, they haven't stopped playing since like 2006. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And it's just like, damn. And they were better than me then, too. <laughs> <laughs> cool, I am, let's see. Two jumps away. Are you Any combat zones? Uh, Gigan, or are you on uh, Chadik? I was going to Chadik, but it's right, they're right All next right. to each other. Is there any combat zones in Gigan? Uh, one sec. Uh. Need to find a board game group. Yeah. Nothing. Drop my needles. Right, I'm gonna head back to Chadik then. Alright. Yeah, Festive Carl, we did have a, uh, a board game place, but COVID took it down. Well played. I think that's about it, really. But, yeah, I was gonna join the tournament, but I'm just gonna go there to watch. See what they do. See how they do. What they do. Oh, alright. Caldando motor de distorsia. Mm-hmm. Be needling? Mm-hmm. I thought it was my little dude, like one of them lady things, like sit and cool. sew. Cool, cool. And listen and watch. So do do. Totally totally. All right, I made it. God, everything's working this week. Oops. Do you want to cool, grab one of these resource extraction sites, then? Yeah, we can go there. All right. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I'm in Shadik as well. Do you have electric for my... Oh, you need power? Yeah, I'm running out of power. Thank you. Cat. <laughs> Where's the cat? Okay, I'm in Shadik. I see you on Super Cruise. Let's see, let me get all my screens back. Cool, Festive Carl, I also see your response in Discord as well about towards my question there. I appreciate it. Yeah, I've just been shooting from the hip with that Discord, honestly. I made it almost uh, two years ago in November. And it's just been, uh, you know, because there's really not a lot of like video game community cohesion in this area, I feel, because it's more of a nature-y, hiking-y, touristy kind of thing, beer and, <laughs> and rich white people type shit. So, um, hey, so there's an opportunity. So yeah, so I I had, I had made the Discord and posted it to Reddit, and within like a week, there were like 50 people jumped in. But 
And for a while, you know, I, I, I had a mod and he cussed me out for some reason. I don't know why. It, he, it was like two in the morning. He literally just popped in and just cussed me out. And I'm like, why? Why are you yelling at me right now? And why Why can't we talk about this like adults? And so he left. But um, that's kind of been... That was a while ago, but I don't know. It's just kind of a random space now. I know people still keep trickling in, but it's really hard to get that engagement going because you got to you gotta be focused. Yeah, well, you're coming out of COVID. That's one reason. Yeah, and it was, I mean, it was a great, it was kind of, it was popping for a minute, but not really a lot of people, but there was a couple of us that were meeting there regularly. Um. It's like you have to make events, maybe. All right, Alpha, where did you go? Or you still uh, I'm cruise? at the uh, resource extraction site Hazardous. Uh, should be close to the Red Cattle Farms. If you are, are you so you already dropped there? Uh, no, I'm still on my way. I'm Let's go to high. Five and a half light seconds out. Let's go to high. I think Hazardous might be too much for us right now. I know you got your shields and stuff. We'll even, fuck around even high. Even if... a real gun, all right. <laughs> well, let's, uh, yeah, let's let's fuck oh, yeah, around yeah. high, and if we if we get bored there, then we'll we'll try hazards. Uh, how far is it from where I'm at here? I don't see. It should high. be pretty close. Uh, it's the only one next to hazardous. That's fourteen hundred light seconds. All right. Fourteen hundred. Yeah, oh, so you I'm went to a really to far high. Right oh, hazardous, I see. Wait a minute. Let me... Let me get my wing beacon on. Won't be too long. Well, there's a... I think... I don't. I want to make sure we get to the right ones, because there's a bunch, actually, right now. Let me see. Get my wing beacon on. Hold on, let me see you. I saw you for a second there, but I got it. My restream thing is frozen. Uh, just refresh it. I was talking to a buddy of mine that uh, hadn't really played this game since since I did basically since everything was manual all the landing landing gear takeoff was manual there's no 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 assist no super cruise assist or anything and he said yeah the simulation part is great until you have to do it every time yeah and that's that's exactly how I felt about this game like the the super cruise assist just makes this way way much more of a game than a so just a straight up sim. Yeah, I like doing everything manually. Oh, and I, for sure. Personally. But I mean, yeah. But yeah, I totally it's understand. Cool. Like, yeah, I totally get it. And that's what's cool about this game. Like, you, you can do what you want. Yeah, yeah. They've definitely done a good job making it a lot easier for the the gameplay to come out rather than just the simulation. Right. I'm pretty excited for that uh, the first person shooter stuff they got coming too. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Um, probably until next year, honestly. Check that out. I was watching some. I haven't seen much gameplay, but I saw a little bit. Um, how far are you from the sun, Jadeep? Um, Six hundred and fifty light seconds, roughly, I think. Where are we at here? Uh, six hundred and fifty, yeah. No. Just a couple of light seconds out here. I totally lost you, and I. Wait, you said 600, so now I can actually use that to figure out how far Should we... be close. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I see high. 600 about. Well, one you're going to high, right? Now. Yeah. 
I mean, it's amazing to, to just think this game has been around since the 80s. <laughs> yeah, I was surprised to hear about it when I actually first picked up the the game preview edition here. I guess it's on that's the when I got into it. Wait, what? I, I picked up the Elite Dangerous when it was in game preview on Xbox, so it's been a long time. Yeah. And I was I was surprised to hear that it was it's been around that long when I first picked it up then. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool on the subreddit they'll sometimes you'll see a they'll they'll just have a picture, I guess, from the box. And it just shows the low poly versions of all the ships so you can identify them. Oh wow. And it's all still the same ships, Python, Asp, Cobras, all that. I'm this far out, I should be able to see you. I'm about to pull out of FSD here. Or, um, Super Cruise. So I'm not even in the right spot, because I should be able to see you. Just don't, don't drop out yet. Just, just uh, throttle down and hang over it. I can't, um, I lost it. Huh. I'm by, I'm 600 away as well. And I'm by these sites, but I don't want to see you. Is your wing beacon on? No, you had it oh, on. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, maybe it is on. Sorry, you second. Uh, I should at least see you on radar. Even with it off. That was in the four menu, right? Four ship, and then uh, yeah, it should be on top tab. Right, right. Is this all right? That's working. Should be on though. Uh, wing signal. There you go. I see that. Okay, I see you. Don't yeah, I'm right down. above the, the drop-off location here. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you can go ahead and drop. And I've got your nav locked, so I don't even have to worry about timing my drop. I just drive straight towards your wing signal and it'll drop me automatically. Which is kind of like a middle ground between manual and auto, auto super cruise. Cool, 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 cool. All right, let's find us a target. How do I select your target again? Uh, you might have bound it this... You, I think you, the default by default is 8. A? No, eight. that's not right. 8. Yeah. Right, I found it last time. Hold on. Yeah, it's under targeting. Something targeting towards the bottom. 
in uh, options controls. <clears throat> Zero. Zero. Right. And selecting you is seven. Perfect. Clear on an eagle. Nobody's fighting yet, so I'm just clicking around. These guys are clean. Scanned. Nobody's fighting. System authorities dispatch in 40 seconds. There must be a fight somewhere. But. Fight right here. Andrew Scott's work moving up there. I see him. He is worth a hundred. No. Benson Honeydew is, but no, this guy. What oh, twenty-five thousand? What is this Benson Honeydew? He's got a. He's in a wing though. That's not good. A dragoon is wanted. They are 38,000. Fuck it. Cobra. You're going for a dragoon? I'm going for a shield to drop here in a second. It's pretty close. We can get that. Why did the shield just come back? What the fuck? Shit. And this guy's gonna get melted. All these lasers flying around.
keep freezing. Hmm? My screen. My restream. Freezing. Huh. Alright. Do you have uh, another. Oh, I can't troubleshoot that. Yeah, don't. Yeah. I'm just. I'm just talking. About what? Nothing. Talking about nothing. My stream freezing. Now it's unfrozen. What uh, are you working on? Huh? What are you working on? Oh, I had to finish one of these. Oh, dear. I threaded my needle again. Anyway, a top I made that's going to go in the Noir Collective. And I thought I might as well sit here. Oh, me and Alipog were talking about crypto and NFTs. He... He's uh, got a couple collection NFTs. He's oh yeah, picking up. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Cool. It's a uh, it's a lot easier to get into than it to, than it has been in the past. And yeah, I can hook you up with some links and stuff when we're done. Sure. Cool. Yeah, we're trying to learn so we can make our own. See another fight out here. But uh. I don't know, one thing that we were kind of talking about, or something Valeria had, had kind of thought about was like, keeping your crypto and fiat separate and not really, I don't know. Cause I guess it, it just seems like when you, and I don't know, this is just something that, that we don't haven't really researched, but just some thoughts we had about when, when you do, you know, have crypto and then pull it into fiat, it just seems like another way for government to just, I don't know, take your shit or know what you're doing or... Well, I think they're gonna tax you either way. So the whole point is to make money, not to, I don't know, avoid taxes, I don't know. If I was a billionaire, I'd pay taxes. Why not? I mean, that's like you go, you visit Nigeria they don't have infrastructure because the people aren't taxed. I mean, they're mm -hmm. trying to do it, but... I mean, we have roads and schools as bad as they are because of taxes. Well, hey, I'm not opposed to paying taxes. I think it was just like... I don't know. It was something we were talking about, but... Um... Let's just wait till we have a lot of money and then worry about it. <laughs> But one thing, like I was saying, I did start a OpenSea account, and I did put yeah. like, uh, the One Frog Nine logo, like a small version, a larger version, and then like a little doodle I made. Um, but I don't really know how to really put all put all this together. I, you know, I noticed that people will make you know multiples, maybe five hundred or five thousand versions of the same thing, and then you know that's the drop, and so you just get. You know, if you can get what you can get from that, then, then that's what you get. You get. I like the idea of doing your NFT and then and put it in a game. Yeah. Kind of try to keep adding, have layers of value to your NFT. So what kind of NFTs do you have? Me? Mm-hmm. Um, basically, I have some, some cards from a trading card game that I play on a blockchain called uh, uh, Hive. Uh, the game is called Splinterlands. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I'll send you some links after that, after the stream here. And, cool. um, what else? I play Alien Worlds on there as well. You basically mine uh, cryptocurrency with it. It's not really much to do. Yeah. But, uh... I do. I do like to play on the the marketplace. So buying and selling cars. That's something I, I definitely enjoy with it. Uh, do you know Gary V. Gary Vaynerchuk? Have you ever heard of him? What's that? Sorry. Have you ever heard of uh, Gary V or Gary Vaynerchuk? No. Oh. 
he um <clears throat> he's like a motivational speaker business <clears throat> business guy. He's um what you call it? He he has a lot of like media companies and stuff like that, and it just kind of helps people with their business. And he he's into crypto. He's into NFTs. Like he's he's how I even heard about NFTs at first, like in February. Oh, yeah. Um, and then in May, he did a, a drop called V Friends. And, you know, the art wasn't that great for it. You know, it's just basically, you know, just some cheap doodles that he made. But it was more, more for him to show people how NFTs can function. And so he had this really big drop, a couple thousand, and many, many thousands of, of these things. And he basically, he, he's been working on these doodles his whole life to like, like what are some traits as a business person that you want to have? You know, you want like the empathetic elephant and the patient panda. He has all these kinds of like animals like that. Um, the gift goat or whatever. So he, he made all these cards, NFTs for, for his animals. Um, so not only, you know, you get the NFT, but then the thing is, is like they come with this added benefit, like I don't. I didn't look at it too hard because I don't have any ETH. But yeah, and his conferences, they're yeah. It, first of all, if, if you have, secondary. they're called yeah. They're called V friends. So if you have a V friend, it's basically a ticket to go to uh, a convention he's going to hold for the next three years. Because it's all about yeah. marketing, business, and the networking type stuff. So, and you know, he invites a bunch of big people to come and be a part of it, probably. But. Um, but like some of them, it would be, okay, well you get to go, because Gary likes to do yard sales. He likes to go to yard sales and buy stuff and you know, buy little things to resell. Um, and so one of the NFTs like, okay, every, once a year, by holding this NFT once a year, you are allowed to go, not allowed, but you're gonna go to a yard sale with Gary, where you get <laughs> dinner, or um, stuff like that, you know? So, I'd do that. <laughs> what, um, I mean, have you seen any interesting stuff like that that they add to kind of a real world added benefit to owning a NFTs? Is that something you've had any interest in or seen? Um, nothing specific that comes to mind at the moment, but yeah, I have seen seen some stuff where there's added value. I've seen um, also physical NFTs as well. Right. Yeah, where it's like in a like a resin case screen or something. Um. What was there? Yeah, no, there was a, it was a statue. That's like for a gallery. And then it had the NFT molded inside of it, I believe. It was a what? Is is a glass statue or something? And oh, okay. The NFT, um, molded hmm. inside of it. Interesting. Getting it with this matte green back here. Yeah, I'm working on it. So I haven't I haven't actually paid the gas to put up my little things. Uh, I just you know have them on there because at the time Gary V's V friends and I guess there's a bunch of other shit going on. So the gas fees for ETH were like a couple hundred dollars just to yeah, mint you know I my shitty little. Like, um, but I looked the other day and the gas was like back to twelve bucks. So oh good. Okay. I think when we get a little bit of money, I'm, I'm going to try to mint. And I think with OpenSea, you just have to pay once, like a one-time gas fee or something. Yeah. I'm not sure how that works exactly. But... Yeah, it's just one time. On the, the Hive blockchain, which is based on Ethereum, it is um, it is free to transact. In. So you can send it and receive it for free. Okay. There was some discussion. Cool. That was my railgun right there. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Well, I was just there was some discussion about if you buy Ethereum, you may when you have a resale on a different oh, platform, platform, you, you the, may not get your uh, royalties. Your royalty, yeah. I'm like that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know oh, if no. it's true, but I, that's what they were talking about. 
sorry. Yeah, if on Wax there, uh, mm -hmm. you make your own NFTs. You can also set the commission for future sales. So if someone buys it and then sells it later, you again get a commission on it. So it has to be done on that platform, though, right? Can't be sold True. somewhere else. Well, you can you can send it to others, but yeah, um, I believe that's in the smart contract of the uh -huh. of the NFT. You can essentially, if you sell it, uh, there's a commission, so you can give it away. Right. No, but what I was they were discussing, they were like, what if you sold it on a different platform? Were you still guaranteed to get your commission? So you always have to sell it where you buy it. No, I don't. I don't think that's the case. Okay, good. That's great. Well, no, this was the clubhouse room. Built into the smart contract of the NFT. Mm. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, that's the way it sounds like it should be. Well, it, it, and it may depend on the platform, I think. But the just what she's referring to is like, yeah, yesterday we were in, uh, just sitting in the clubhouse and they were talking about things and. That was just something that somebody brought up that I don't know why they mentioned it, but it was just that, yeah, if, if you sell, if you think it's sold in OpenSea and for whatever reason that person that bought it tries to sell it on another platform, like I said, I don't know if it's platform specific or because it's OpenSea, but basically mm. you're not going to get that commission off of the resales if it's not on the same platform. Um, I'm not sure about other platforms, but... Yeah, uh, I mean, we'll have to look into that for sure. Uh, I, you know, I don't know why somebody would do that unless, mm -hmm. you know, you were yeah. really big and they thought they could get more money somewhere else. But, I mean, it always seems what I'm, you know, what I'm learning is NFTs is really, it's about the, the human relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, just like with any other business or any other product or artist or whatever. So, you know, I guess ideally if someone's buying into you, that they're, they're hoping to support you. Right. I'm making a lot of money here, but at least we're alive. <laughs> <laughs> I think my mic cut out there. Uh, I have bought off of artists on on Wax, just uh, just because I liked what they had made, not necessarily because mm -hmm. I was after collecting something that was valuable or anything like that. Mm. Yeah, that's a good reason. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That's and it is uh, it is like collecting, I guess, any other art because it is yeah uh, a, a numbered print essentially, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah, for me as an artist, it sounds like a great thing. Yeah, I have uh, I have mentioned it to some other people that do uh, actually photography. So. Yeah. It's the first time we don't have to wait for a gallery or some middle person to be in charge of our sales and our commissions. Yeah, for sure. It is uh, quite quite cheap to transact on the Atomic Hub there for Wax. As hmm. I say, you can set the set the commissions for sure. I think it's two percent for uh -huh. uh, for the uh, for the exchange. But so so Atomic Hub is the marketplace, and Wax is the wallet. Yeah, Wax is the blockchain. Jamza? Are you hitting somewhere right now? I, I, uh, I, I was, but they got kind of far away. I'm here with you, though. Alright. Uh, select my target, I guess, if you want to try this one. Okay. Good bounty on it. Let's go for it. Um... 
not giving it's hard. Black Blaze! Did he just disappear? Yeah. Oh, he just heat sank. He dropped the heat sink. It broke the... broke the... Oh, I lost him. There he is. He dropped my target. I'll get your shields on. Let's see how much money I got. Almost a million. Yeah, I'm up to six seventy two for bounty claims, so that's not too bad. Yeah. Yeah, I think the 21 by 21 thing. Sounds great. Right, <laughs> okay. It's a wing. I know in Elite, uh, they're not really official, but they do, uh, they do racing. Oh, this guy's in a wing of three. Uh, be careful. I gotta get out of here. I would suggest you do the same as soon as your shields get out, because it's not gonna be good. Okay, they pulled off of me, I think. I got him. Shit. 
the other one's back. So you took out one? Of them? Yeah, I got her oh, target. Shit. He's hitting you. Yeah, as soon as I try to get back in there, I just start chipping my shield again. They're gone. I'm surprised they didn't take you up. I don't ever even got hit. Yeah, see that. Uh, there's one left, an adder. Cops are on. <laughs> yeah. Give me one second. Yellow. What's going on? What's going on? It's just streaming live on the One Frog Nine channel. We're live Thursdays at 11 a.m. Who dat? Eastern. You can find us on Facebook and <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> Thanks for calling into the show. How can we help you today? Who is it? It's Michelle. Hey, Michelle. Larry well, says hello. <laughs> the cat? Your oh your cat? Oh okay. Yeah, we can do that. Uh grilled or fried? Okay. Crispy. Fluffy crispy. <laughs> Okay, when are you coming back? Okay. Oh, hold on. Yeah, just text me. So that way I don't have to, it's all written there. Travel safe. Bye. Did you go to the coast? Yeah. Yep. Yepers. Yepers. 
I invited Kane to Clubhouse. Oh, cool. And he's like, what is that? <laughs> so I explained it to him and, and the whole NFT connection. Cool. Alibok, you heard of Clubhouse? Other than me rambling about it all day? Does the mic go out? I think I'm too far away from the mic. Uh, Alipot, can you hear me? Yeah, I got you. No, I'm not on Clubhouse. I have heard of it, though. Okay. I just saw Elliot Smith, one of my real estate clients, mm -hmm. was asking for an invite. I was like, hmm, cool, so I invited him. Hey, there you go. Yeah, Elliot. Yeah. He he was supposed to come. He's looking for land around this area. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is some guy in here named Citizen Kagar. Or uh, Gakar. Citizen what? Citizen Gakar. It's an NPC. Hmm. That's, that's funny. I mean, look at name. Hmm. Gakar. Let's see, how much are we up to now? We're up to 1.6 million. Have you ever tried Eve, Alapak? Uh, yeah, like a long, long time ago. Probably 2010, maybe earlier than that. I tried it two years ago, for like a couple months. Oh yeah, I thought it was okay, but never really got into it. So. I don't really mind spreadsheets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like information. I, I like that's pretty cool. It's all like contained, but yeah, it's hard to keep up with. Nineteen. Nineteen thousand, come on. So, uh, do you know how to synthesize ammo? No. I have never got to that point in this game, actually. <laughs> I think I was just about to get to get to that, but no, I never had a, what do they call it, a refinery or something? Well, you don't even need one. This is, uh, it's, um, it's in your four menu. Where's the inventory? And you go to inventory and then you go down to like the synthesis tab, it's the mm -hmm. second from the bottom, and it lists oh, all the ammo types. Um, so like for missiles, I have, I have missiles, secret missiles, so that's explosive mu uh, munitions. For rail guns, I think that's high velocity. And you and you need iron and vanadium. Okay. Huh. And a All lot right. of that stuff you can just get from SRV uh, prospecting on plants and stuff. Yeah, I, that's something else I want to try here. The uh... Planetary ex exploration I've never actually done before. Do you have SRV on the ship? No. They're pretty cheap. Well, fuck. Let's uh, let's try that. Let's shift that. Let's uh. Actually, there's one more fight I think. If I, oh, that's probably too far. Well, let's go turn our bounties in, and then uh, I can share with you what I know about that if you want. SRV and sure, yeah, shit. Let's, uh, and planetary approach. Where should we head then? Castle platform? Close? Kessler, yeah, that'll be fine. This fight looks like it's. So they, got, they got shields around. Jimmy D here. Jimmy D! 78,000 scrap. Come on, Jimmy D. Tell me what you see.
Uh, what's the hard point button? Damn it. You. You. There we go. Ten o'clock. Okay. One year time. One o'clock here. You, you can make it, yeah, another half hour or so. Sounds good. See if we can get down to a planet. Yeah. We're, yeah. I think I'm gonna pop out now. Okay. Yeah, we're we're two hours in. It was so. good being with you guys trying this new format. Yeah. Yeah. Good talking to you. All right. Let him know the NFT stuff. Yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm right into it, so yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Thanks, Pirate Queen. I'm going to go, Cat, for coming through. We love you. I'll go ahead and switch the mic. Love you, too. To a better mic. Turn this one off? Yeah, go for it. All right. Back out of here. Hey, that's a little cleaner. Yeah. Yeah, the other mic's like three feet away. <laughs> okay. Springs. Cargo scoop. I gotta get a fuel scoop on this thing. Yes. Yes, you do. Oh, and uh, yeah, yeah. go to Discord. I always had before. What's that? Uh, I'm telling her to leave the chat. Never leave the chat. Um. Oh, we'll just hit the magnifying glass button where caps lock usually is. Yeah, there it is. Now click uh, gray area. The, the top third, top two third. Let's click that right deep. Click that general. general. Uh, no, no, no. looks like a phone. Done and done. Good work, team. Yeah, and super crews, hopefully they don't fly away. Have to call the fuel rats. Kessel. I don't know why my link shit. I don't know what links you tried to post. So this hour, there you yeah. Go. It's a stupid for now. Still <laughs> little details there, but and I'm gonna drop the wax address as well. Uh, uh, you can drop those in the Discord, actually. That'll be fine. All right.
All right, let's see. About 200 light seconds out. Solid 1.3 million in bounties, not bad. Yeah, I guess the second, or I guess combat's the second most profitable, and then the number one is mining. Mining, yeah. Which I have never gotten into because it sounds tedious as all hell. <laughs> to head to uh, Chadik 2 Delta? We're going to have to go, you know, FSS scanning, full spectrum. Uh, no. It is the semicolon button. Uh, and you have to be in Super Cruise to use that. And, uh, and you have to be throttled down in Super Cruise, and then you hit the semi... No, 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 apostrophe key. It's right next to enter. And let's see, I'm gonna sell my stuff here. And then what you do, look, uh, I mean, yeah, we'll probably end up going to whatever the closest planet is, but you can use this to see the, the material composition of the planet. Like what is the percentage of finding iron or whatever you're looking for. Okay. Um, but what would be good is to look at that synthesis menu on your four under inventory and look at what ammo type you have and what materials you need to synthesize. Yeah, right now I'm just the railgun. So it's high velocity. Yeah, yeah so iron and um, vanadium. I don't know where we'll find vanadium. Um... But uh, a lot of this, you know, I don't know if you've used Inara or any of those other third-party sites, but they, they'll also no, show you, know, help you find whatever, whatever, literally whatever you're looking for, um, be it, you know, certain modules for your ship. Drop. 
this. I want to go to FSS. Let's see some of these bigger planets here. Where is that? Or, or well, FSS is one way to do it. That there's that, and then another thing is to look at the system map. Hey, let me see. And the system map shows you which planets you can actually land on. I'm by, so yeah, we're by Chadik 2. Chadik 1. So we cannot land on Shadik 2, but we can land on Shadik. Oh wait, no, what the fuck am I? No, I want to do that one. This is the map. Yeah, system map. So if you go to your system map and like select a planet or whatever you're looking at, right? Yeah. So whatever you highlight here, it'll show you yeah. the kind of the like composition of that. Um, and any of the blue blue ones we can land on, right? Mm-hmm. So Chadik 1A, is that where we're at? And no, we're by Chadik 2 because that's just a couple of light seconds away. So there's a vanadium. There's only about three percent chance there. Vanadium's not even on that planet. All right, Shadik two A. I understand it should be pretty close. Shadik two. So let's go to Shadik two A. Uh, have you done planetary approach before? A little bit, yeah. Okay. So you're going to 2A? Mm-hmm, Chidik 2A. And you have an SRV, right? No, I don't. Oh, shit. Uh, well, we'll pull up a NAR real quick. Nera. We're looking. Um, let's go with Paul and Nara up here. Cool. cool. Outfitting, optional, and surface. We are in Chidi. S. 
SRV. Bay. Planetary. Vehicle hangar. That's, so that's what you need. A planetary vehicle hangar. Uh, I think we only have space for two tier in the in here. And then let's see, vehicle hangar, 2G. We'll search for both of those in our Shadik. Uh, we're book survey. I believe Zemiansky is an odyssey. No clue. Well, let's go ahead and pull this away. Book survey has it. Looks like Brooks Survey has it. What's this other one? Zimiansky thing. Stations. Yeah, Brooks Survey. It's annoying because Inara will list uh, spaces that are only available in Odyssey. Okay. And that'll confuse the hell out of you. Yeah, Brooks Saver is only 30 light seconds away. So what does your name mean? Who is Bothan? Oh, um, no, it's a Star Wars reference. Bothan's died for this. Right? Uh, I don't get it. Um... Oh, what is it? When, uh... They find the plans for the second Death Star. Uh, Mon Mothma says many Bothans died to bring us this information. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Man, what is a Bothan? Bothan. Bothan. What does a Bothan it's look a, like? It's a race or, a, or um, an alien race. What do they look like? I don't remember to be honest with you. Look at. They look like a, like a, it looks like a lion nose head. It's like a yeah, mix between, right. it's like a hairy, hairy thing with pointy ears. Apparently kind of a big they're snout. good size. <laughs> <laughs> real, real fucking obvious. From Wikipedia. There you go. Furry mammalian anthropoids. Yeah. About one and a half meters tall, so that's like five feet. No, four. That's a regular half. height. Yeah. Hailing from Average. Bathawui. <laughs> They're known for being master politicians and spies. Yeah. Oh, Star Wars. Ooh, crashed. Crashed? Yeah. I thought I had the auto dock on, but I didn't slow down. Oh! Some dumb smack <laughs> button doesn't work, I guess. And I huh. wasn't watching. It's not nice. Like, oh, fuck. That's all right.
do I have to buy a planetary survey vehicle? Yes. Well, if you get the hangar, I think I think it comes with it. I forget, honestly. You'll have to um, if you look in your two menu. No, three menu, which is right in, like your which is right below in front of you. After you've bought it, it should show it in the SRV bay. Oh no! It says no vehicle. Oh man. Um, I know. Like, if you get the hangar, then let's see. Could be able to buy it here. On a class two internal biplanetary hangar in the empty slot. Oh, okay. So go back to that hangar, and there'll be an empty slot below the hangar in your outfitting. Oh, I see, yeah. That's right. Scarab. Yep. Nice. There we go. All right, let's roll. Well, we're going to go to Chadik 3B. It's a little bit closer in the interest of time. behind you. Cool. What's our landing spot? Anywhere. It doesn't matter. Anywhere. Right. Pretty... Ill. Actually, I'll go ahead and follow you, so you just go ahead and land, and I'll just land by you. We should land on the light side. Yeah. <laughs> Good idea. Got me? Yeah, I got you. About a hundred kilometers behind. It.
see you. Looks like we're over a pretty rough spot. You didn't land yet. Okay, yeah, you landed on there. Flat area, that's good. Cool, 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 cool. There, this would be a cool place to race, these canyons. Yeah, it looked pretty good. I know on some of the elite, on the one of the elite discords, they uh, they schedule races and stuff, like unofficial. Oh, nice. Yeah. One day I'm gonna get my shit together and try that shit. No Are shields, all happen? engines. <laughs> Canyon, canyons lined uh, with ships and stuff, and racing through the canyon. Yeah, that'd be cool. So let's land here. This seems okay. Actually, let's get away from this edge. Actually, I don't want us to. It's gonna go more inward here. Let's see, let's go down, pull the scarab out, deploy. What's the uh, landing gear button here? Uh, L. Oh, that makes sense. Been fun. You're about three clicks away. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. stuff around here so that's a little bit better all right and uh, launch SRV button is go to your three menu and then uh, go to SRV and deploy And now uh, you're you might have to configure some controls because it's uh, <laughs> for some reason the SRV controls are different. I actually set it to like where Q and E change the throttle. Yeah. But it's not like flying. It's kind of like it's weird. It's really weird and. But you'll just have to try it. I mean, I feel if I sit here and try to explain it, it'll just confuse you more.
Hell yeah. Not gonna let me rebind W to the throttle. Weird. Yeah, I think that's why I had to do Q and E. Yeah, that's what it's default to do. That's weird. I don't like that. And then the way it behaves is different too. It's it's, it's hard to explain. Steering is with the mouse then. Something right. like that. See what happens. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> Takes some getting used to. Alright. So uh, prospecting is really easy. You see uh, above your oops, above your uh, your actual radar. There's a scanner. You see it. You can see it scanning. Oops. Above my radar, yeah, it's scanning. All right. Yeah, and basically, there are different types of things that we can scan for, based on the signatures that come up. So like, I'm gonna go in this direction here. And if you kind of follow me, you'll notice that what we're heading towards in this direction is like a, it's like a single line. You can see a very faint single line on that signature. Basically other signatures will have multiple lines in different shapes. Does that make sense? Yeah. It took me forever to figure this out because I just never looked it up. Uh, but then, like, a couple months ago, I'm like, I want to figure this shit out. Because I, I noticed I could make ammo. Um, I was like, well, how do I do that? So all we got to do is just pick up a, pick a direction. And basically, the, the if uh, the signal's on the bottom of that scanner, it um, it's closer. Okay. And the higher it is on there, the further it is away. Further away it is. Uh oh, hit that rock. And what eventually what will happen is we'll get a uh, we'll actually have a target show up, and it'll even show up on the the radar, like a little point. But this is really relaxing, actually. <laughs> Just you know, spend like. Do some combat, you get bored with that, then just pick a planet, land. And uh, it doesn't affect your mass. Like your overall ship's mass. And it's not, you know, it's just something that you just stock up on and you have it in your inventory to use uh, to make ammo or whatever. Getting closer here, it's getting stronger. There it is, I see it. I see it on the radar, at least. There it is. And these signals actually make their own sound. Oh, ah, yeah, I can hear something. It's like driving on a lake or something in the winter. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. 
Oh, gravity. Yeah, it definitely takes some practice. All right, and now I think... Fuck, how do you get to your gun? Uh... Is it a, uh, is it G? No, maybe not G. But basically, uh, this is the thing we found. And then you would kind of switch to a turret. Press R3, I'm pressing R3. L3. This is R3. No, that's R1. Where's R3? Yeah, I'm pressing R3. It's not what I'm doing. Incorrect cockpit mode. Press R3 to switch. It's not working. Check my controls. SRV, where is that? Driving, targeting. Select target ahead. Driving. All right, I got it. Yeah, so you got to change cockpit mode to combat, which is right. uh, you. No? Yeah, M. you. Nope. M, right. There we go. And then oh, you target. got it. Cool, cool, cool. And then there's actually, I th uh, well, maybe it's still on the, there's a way to switch to your turret view. Uh, let me look. Driving, turret, targeting. Turret mode. Switch cockpit mode. Hmm. Toggle SRV turret for, I don't know. Toggle SRV turret keyboard. Oh, it is you. Okay. You to switch to turret mode. Cool. That That's useful when you're in an SRV and you go on, there's some missions where you get sent to uh, some kind of station on a planet. Oh, yeah. Oh, did you just shoot me? No, I'm in the menu. Oh. Why am I... How do you pick up yeah. the cargo? Uh, oh, press the home key. You should be able to open a cargo scoop with a home key, I think. Why am I losing hull? No, wait. Handbrake is on.
I guess the quality of the material degrades? I don't know. Interesting. All right. Did you get them all? Yeah. And then just to contrast, like that signal only had like one line. And now if you kind of head this way, where I'm going, you'll notice this signal has like two lines on it. Can you, can you see that difference? Yeah. And so other, th there, there will be other signals that also have two lines, but they won't be so close. Like there's like different variations. Just to illustrate. So we'll just pick up this one and then we'll be done. We can recall our ships to where we are. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm about done here. It's uh, pretty good for today, I think. Hell yeah. Made some money. Nobody nobody got dead today, that was good. Yeah. Get a cool million. I, forget, I think the last thing we blew up, it was like Mezo, Mesioic or something like that. What is this one here? This is Bronzite. So different types of these things will, you know, have different uh, types of common or rare minerals and such. Carbon, iron, phosphorus, sulfur the uh -huh. iron for the for our railgun shots here right yeah yes Cargo scoop is not bound. All right. So how do we recall ships here? Uh, go to your two menu. I'm going to rebind all this, but all right, I'm going to close out the stream. Give me one second here. All right, all right, all right. All right, everybody, thanks for coming through to uh, another wonderful episode of the One Frog Nine channel. Doing what we do here, just hanging oh, out, gaming. Three men either. Holding space for our victory. Um, you know, playing some games, man. So uh, if you came through, Festive Carl, like, uh, like Festive Carl, dropped a, a like, dropped some love. We appreciate that so much. All right. And again, as always, please text 52886. You're going to send that. Uh, and the exception, man, we're going to abolish slavery in this lifetime. Because I believe that is just a, a core part of, of, you know, this imperialist beast of the U.S. of A. So uh, I think I'm done for now. And we'll see y'all next Thursday. Much love. And much power to all of you. Please take care. And live your life. Alright? Do it to it. So we're...
Done. We're out. Thank you.